What's the difference between ChatGPT giving you professional level results versus bland, boring responses? One simple shift. It has nothing to do with prompt length, politeness, or being super specific. Look, I get it, you've tried everything. You've written these massive detailed responses thinking that more information gets you better results. You've been saying please and thank you like you've been talking to your grandma. Oh. You've been hyper specific about every little detail. And what do you get back? The same cookie cutter responses that sound like they're written by a robot having a bad day. But here's the truth. There's a simpler and more powerful way to elevate your results. Here's what most people don't realize. It's not about how you ask ChatGPT to act, but who you ask ChatGPT to become. Instead of treating it like a search engine, you need to treat it like a shapeshifter. You're not just giving it a task, you're giving it an identity. Watch what happens when I take this terrible prompt and transform it into something that actually works. Here's what most people do. Write me a marketing strategy for my business. What I'm seeing is ChatGPT won't even take the prompt. It already knows because it's just now smart enough to actually ask me questions about the fact that this prompt is lacking. So it's actually gonna start prompting me because I gave it such a bad prompt, but it doesn't have to be this way. Now watch this. You're a senior marketing strategist with 15 years of experience helping small businesses triple their revenue. I run a local bakery that's struggling to compete with chain stores. Create a 90-day marketing strategy that focuses on our unique advantages and costs less than $500 to implement. See the difference? That's the power of giving ChatGPT an identity rather than just a task. You can see here that it's actually beginning to give me the beginning of a marketing plan. It's not a fully baked marketing plan, but it's so much better than what I had. I'm gonna show you how to do this in three simple steps, plus give you two powerful tips on how to make your prompts even better. But here's the thing, we're just scratching the surface on what's actually possible with AI here. If you wanna master AI, you wanna learn from the best of the best. And there's nowhere better to do it than the AI Business Society from Social Media Examiner. It's a community of marketers just like you who wanna master AI to boost their productivity, extend their creativity, and get ahead of the curve. You'll get access to monthly training, monthly meetups, and the kind of supportive community that gets what you're trying to accomplish. Check out the AI Business Society link in the description. There's even a 30 day money back guarantee so that you can try it out, making it risk free for you. Now let me break down this three part framework so you can use it in any situation. This is what I call the identity first method and it works in three parts. First, assign a specific role. Don't just ask for help, ask an expert. You're an expert copywriter who specializes in email marketing your video hook expert who specializes in YouTube videos. You're an expert marketing strategist who specializes in product launches. Second, provide relevant context. Give your expert the background it needs in order to give personalized advice. If you're setting up an email campaign, give it the skinny on who you're selling to and what you're selling. If you're creating a YouTube video, explain the topic in detail, the target audience, and the desired outcome. If you're launching a new product, Explain your traditional launch strategies and desired goals. Third, specify the deliverable. What format do you want? How long? What's the end goal? Otherwise it might give you an orange when you really wanted an apple. To stick with the same three examples, you might specify the deliverables as a five part email sequence that takes a user from interested to a buyer in two weeks, a short two sentence hook for your YouTube video, a list of new product launch ideas, rank ordered from most impactful to least. Let me give you another example, how to grow a LinkedIn page. And here's a better version enhanced with the identity first method. You are an expert social media manager who has grown three different B2B companies LinkedIn followings from zero to 10,000 plus engaged followers. I run a productivity coaching business. My target audience is overwhelmed entrepreneurs who struggle with time management develop a tactical growth plan that will establish my thought leadership on LinkedIn that can be implemented by a one person company that also manages other social media channels. So let's break down this prompt with our identity first method. I started by assigning a specific role when I said, you are an expert social media manager, which isn't a bad start, but it didn't stop there. 
I added, quote, who has grown three different B2B companies' LinkedIn followings from zero to 10,000 plus engaged followers, unquote. Because, let's face it, some social media accounts get lucky from being at the right place at the right time. I also wanted the strategies developed by someone who has done it a few times in similar yet different B2B businesses on LinkedIn so that the recommendations would be repeatable systems I could use. I even specified 10,000 rather than 100,000 because the process of getting your first one to 10,000 followers is different than going from 10 to 100. This is probably more specific than you need to be at first, but as you improve your prompting game, you'll find that your prompts start to look more and more like this one. Let's talk about the next part of the method providing relevant context. I gave multiple key details that any expert would need to know to help us with our social media. What the company sells. I run a productivity coaching business and want to establish thought leadership on LinkedIn. Who we are selling to. My target audience is overwhelmed entrepreneurs who struggle with time management. A little bit of context goes a long way. And I often tap the dictate button in ChatGPT in order to tell it everything it needs to know to get the job done. The final part of the prompt is when we specify the deliverable so that it actually knows what we're trying to accomplish. I asked it to, quote, develop a tactical growth plan, unquote, but it didn't stop there. I also asked it to do that with the broader mission in mind to establish my thought leadership on LinkedIn. I also gave it a vital constraint so that it didn't develop a plan so big that this one man band couldn't execute it alone. See the difference? You're giving it everything it needs to act as your personal social media expert. Now that you understand the identity first method, I wanna explore two more techniques that will make your prompts even more powerful. My first tip is the before you respond technique. Add this phrase to the end of your prompt. Before you respond, ask me any clarifying questions that you need to give me the best possible answer. Oftentimes we don't know what we don't know, but ChatGPT does and can ask you the questions that will draw the context out of you so that it can actually give you everything you need. Adding this response makes ChatGPT behave more like a real expert because any real expert would ask you clarifying questions you didn't even know to provide the context for. My second advanced tip is to set output constraints. Instead of hoping for the right format, be specific about what you want. Oftentimes, we're disappointed by what ChatGPT gives us because we never actually specified what we wanted from it. So if you wanted it one way, and got another way, you probably should have specified what you wanted to begin with. Maybe you wanted it to be brief and it was verbose. Maybe you wanted a summary and it gave an exhaustive answer. Maybe you wanted bullet points, but it gave you paragraphs. You get what you ask for. One of my favorite things to ask for is a summary in table form because I can quickly digest a ton of information with just a glance. I may or may not have used AI to write this entire script. Shoot, maybe I'm not even real. But here's what's definitely real, the results you'll get from mastering this method. In the next video, I'll show you the exact method I use to make ChatGPT behave like a high paid consultant. No complex formulas, no AI wizardry, just one simple shift that changes everything. Click or tap the screen now and I'll show you exactly how to make that happen. Your future self will thank you for watching this one.